What are we fixing? The four wheeler. What's wrong with the four wheeler? It needs a fuel something, something. Fuel filter. Yeah. We're going to replace the sock filter for the fuel pump. Which according to the Black Hills, South Dakota Yamaha dealership is a non-replaceable part. Now, we're going to replace it. It cost me, I think I got three of them on Amazon for $11. And the dealership, Steelership in the Black Hills told me that the only way I could replace the fuel filter is to replace the entire pump. So my wife's machine had a fuel delivery issue, which we boiled down to her having nearly a half inch of silt in the bottom of her fuel tank. And that ended up causing pickup issues. And then we found out that there's a, it's kind of a check valve and I'll point it out here in a second. There's a check valve and that was clogged with silt. And then the bottom of the tank was filled with silt. And then obviously the fuel filter itself was covered in silt. So I'm gonna try to get everything out of here and clean this tank without removing it. We removed the entire tank, the entire rear of the machine. Um, in the Black Hills at our campsite with the tools we had available. So it is something that's pretty easy to do and uh, we'll get to it. So on the 700, this is a 2019 Yamaha Grizzly. What you'll see here, we pulled the seat off. Obviously it's a little mucky in there. This right here is that check valve I was talking about. There's actually a float inside here that when it sucks up water, that float comes up and it's supposed to block, this is the breather, it's supposed to block air or water from flowing into the fuel tank. That hasn't always been true. This is the fuel pump itself here. Now it actually looks like, yeah, we are gonna actually have to pull off the whole back of this machine, which isn't the end of the world. It's a few bolts here, I'll cover it. The fuel bolt bolts here, and then this whole thing just comes off. Um, we won't have to remove the entire tank, but you can kind of see there's a C-ring in here holding the fuel pump in place. And that sock, that filter, is um, kind of shaped like this at the bottom of that fuel pump. So, uh, we'll, we'll march forward. I think, oh, I need a 12 millimeter. Let's see if you can find one. And a... And a 10. You're doing? You're doing the back. Okay. Let me uh, see if I can pull this guy out. So I have a bit more room. There we go. Alright. Now, what I want 
want you to do is you got is that wrench you have in your hand yeah. needs to go in the hole on the front. Oh, I remember doing this. Yeah. Act like you don't know what you're doing. lighting but this is that check valve this bottom piece it, it sits in the machine like this and this bottom piece goes down to the breather down by the rear differential and this feeds into the fuel tank and so I already took one screw out I'm gonna take the other one out and then this comes apart in like four pieces we're gonna see if I can do this without looking too goofy here This one honestly doesn't look near as bad as, yeah, I mean, you can kind of see this. I mean, this machine hasn't been run in a minute. And then you can kind of see that ball in there. That's our check valve. And I'll take this all apart and show you all what it looks like. I'm going to take all those pieces, wash them thoroughly, flush them out, and then hopefully we've got something that's a little cleaner. Alrighty, now that you guys can see that shit. Ended up washing this out with this, uh, what's it called? New Bright. Used for AC condenser cleaning, used to clean the radiators. It's pretty corrosive shit, so I don't, I don't recommend touching it. Um, you can help it. It's been sitting here for a good half hour or so. Um, oh, shit. That's really clean. It did what I wanted it to. Alright, rinse them out. Let's see about getting this thing done. Alright, I pressure wash this thing a little bit. Not perfect, but I got something done on it, and hopefully those neighbor kids aren't too loud. So this will kind of give you a view. So I have the fuel filter, which has a little bit more mud on it, and then that fuel, the fuel pump rather, and then fuel filter there. We're gonna wipe that thing down. So, this is the existing filter, and this is the replacement filter. Quite a bit more surface area on the factory one. I'm going to actually see if I can find one that's factory size. But the structure inside here actually holds this fabric out, which probably helps contribute to the surface area and whatnot. But just looking at this old one, you can see 
how much dust and dirt and grime have been sucked into this thing. And obviously the new one is mighty clean. So we're going to go ahead and go with this one. But we're going to keep this one around just so we can have something to compare it to in the future. And make sure you don't lose that o-ring in there. shattered. Let's try grabbing another one. If this guy shatters, I'm going to be frustrated. not shatter the second time. You want to make sure that your filter is on the same side as the float for your fuel gauge. And we'll grab the tank. Work on getting that slid back in here. My lesson here a little bit is have a slightly cleaner environment. Now the, the, the good thing is we got a filter we're putting in. So this doesn't catch this. Also keep in mind that you're not going to ever have a perfect I won't say ever. If you're working in your driveway the way I am, you're much less likely to have a perfectly working get our you don't want to forget this in there he just lays right in there like so Passing her on down.
snuggle all down. Just tell they're tight now. Now that we've gone all the way around. Tight. 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 And then we'll just snug them all up just a titch. Trying to break them off. Just don't want them to pop loose. That two cycle fire is the way this thing's always been. Um, I don't know what the deal is for it, but she's running. I'll let her run for 15 minutes and warm up. I'll do some cleanup here and see if she stays running once we jostle the tank around a little bit. So the other piece that we cleaned then is this check valve. Um, in the video I showed, um, it looked like that new bright got it completely clean and when I got it out in the sunlight, it did not. There's quite a bit of residue inside, um, like mud and silt or whatever, inside on the edges. And so that little ball that was inside wouldn't move freely. So I brought it outside, used some degreaser and cleaned it out so now you can hear that when I shake it back and forth that that ball moves freely ultimately that's what you want is you want that ball to move freely then we'll we'll get this mounted back on as well but I just want to touch base on that that's what it looks like fully assembled mounts the machine like that uh, and uh, we'll get it going I'm gonna go back and double check how this was routed because I had to take a picture of it and I'll post that picture here in the video. See if I can find it. Yeah, so what am I looking at here? 
So this guy goes in here. Out and around here. In here. Through here. Given it Christmas, that's kind of complicated. Okay, and I think I got them in there backwards. It doesn't matter, I just like to keep the bends the way they were to begin with. So, I'm gonna go here. Yeah, that makes more sense. Now the bends are lining up with where they want to go. And then this guy goes up here. And I will post that picture here. And then I'm going to grab the little ringy jobbers to hold those in place. Both hoses that come up into here and then right back down. fed up there both hoses fed up there and basically the purpose is just to try to create a bend in them so that water and whatnot doesn't flow down in there's an air pocket up at the top all right I'll put the rest back together here and give you a little time lapse. 